Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave me a comment. And did I tell y'all to subscribe already? If not, go ahead and do that. If you wanna follow me on other platforms, I am on Instagram as Miss Randy Smith Babies. I'm also on Facebook under Miss Randy Smith. Um, if you would, follow me on those platforms. Um, those are the places where you'll see me list babies when I have babies for sale and also share my personal collection because before anything else, I am a collector. So this baby here that I am sharing today is Jersey. He is the um, prototype Callaway by Don McLeod. Um, and he was painted by Samira Fritosa. I don't know how to say her last name. But um, I bought him directly from the artist. And you guys probably seen him up for sale. Um, and so that's why I ch get him changed um, into another outfit, which I actually really loved him in this little outfit because I felt like it just made him just look so baby. Um, I want to talk to you guys today about something we talk about here and there, but probably not as often as we should. And that is buyer's remorse. Um, so buyer's remorse can happen for different reasons. Um, I find a lot of times buyer remorse can happen even when it's absolutely nothing wrong with the baby. Um, it can just be simply based off of the experience of the transaction or it can be based off of just shopping without beyond your 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 means of your budget um i think that more than most people like to admit um buyer's remorse happen when we shop above our budget and that's kind of a little bit of what um happen with me with this baby I think um I instantly after even right after I purchased him with before he even came to me I was thinking to myself like oh my goodness um I probably shouldn't have bought this baby I, that was too much money to spend blah 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 now if I had money like that and money wasn't an issue that wouldn't have been a question, right? So that's why I say it fell into shopping above my budget of what I should have been spending. And everybody have different financial situations and their priorities set in different ways. Um, regardless of rather we may see a collector that has expensive dolls or expensive taste in dolls, um, doesn't always mean that they can afford to buy every single doll that they like. And, um, but sometimes we make sacrifices and sometimes we let go of dolls that we really like in order to, in order to get the ones, some other dolls that we want. I'm going to put him on these socks because I feel like this shirt does have these colors in it. Even though this is, I think, um, I don't know. Uh, what is that thing called? I forgot, but it's not the same theme, but I'm gonna put them on anyway. They're zero to three month socks. Gosh, I cannot think of the name. If y'all remember what the name of that character is, I cannot think of the name of it. Jeez, it's bugging me. But anyway, I'm gonna put him on these socks to go up under here. Um, but yeah, so that happened and then I was like, okay, I'm going to sell him. And even though I sold other dolls to actually pay for this doll, it was just like in my head still like, no, 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 no. I still shouldn't have spent this much for a doll. I mostly feel guilty when I spend a lot of money on Reborns. I don't feel as guilty when I buy silicone. But 
Um, <laughs> me trying to paint my pickles here recently. Well, first I tried to paint Lottie. And if you're in my uh, subscription group on Instagram, you guys know where I was trying to paint Lottie. And I, I do need to give you guys an update and show y'all what that baby actually looked like. It looks a hot mess. Oh, wait a minute. Let me. I have it right here. I'm actually going to show y'all. And after I messed that one up royally, I was actually quite happy with my pickle, but I still feel like I'm just out of the game. This is my Lottie. This is what happened to my Lottie. I actually started taking, like wiping the paint off after I had put a layer on. It wasn't cured or nothing in it and I just wiped it off. A mess, okay? I'm telling you, a mess. The limbs don't look bad, but the face, looks horrible I don't know if I'm gonna be able to save it or not but anyway I show you guys that and I say that to say after trying to get back in the game and paint vinyl um, with using new and old Genesis pro products because I still have a lot of my original Genesis paint colors um, because um, with reborns the paint lasts a long time like it's not like, and you don't use as much of it like you do, like when you're painting silicone. So I still have like a ton of the original, but some stuff I don't have the originals of. And so, but it's like the new form of Genesis is all that I've been really working with. I haven't tried irresistible paints and, you know, none of the other ones like Beatrix uh, paints or nothing like that. Um, I think they call them BC paints. I haven't started trying any of those. But after, you know, trying, you know, to get back into the swing of things and trying to paint um, vinyl, <laughs> I, I realized how quickly, very quickly, how hard, again, it is to to come up with a realistic baby um, nice skin tones um, and let's not even think about how fabulous um, this hair is rooted this baby face the details in the forehead and all ugh, it's just really really beautiful um, it's very hard and so I'm like I'm you know I hear a lot of people saying it and I, I can agree to some extent you know where it's like I don't want to pay silicone prices for vinyl, but I, I tell you what, um, I'm not going to say that it's not worth it because it is very hard to paint, especially these days. These um, artists are really having to learn new products and stuff like that. So, um, it, it actually made me think about it and say, hey, let me, let me, let me pick this baby up and he feels amazing when I pick him up I only added a little bit in his torso of weight because um she has his limbs like very professionally sealed off and I don't want to disturb that so I didn't bother that but um yeah so I was like I was like uh-uh I was like let me revisit you know, connecting with this baby and see about doing something else because it's so hard to get black dolls, um, especially the darker skin tones that actually look um, realistic. So I was like, nope. So, and I was just looking at him and I'm like, I, I pulled him out and when I pulled him out, I was like, oh my gosh, he's just so freaking cute i'm like nope i'll sell something else in my collection and i'm gonna hold on to him and you know i don't feel so bad about the money that i spent on him because why i deserve it and also not only that um i can't i can't paint uh as easy as i used to i'm not gonna say that that i can't come up with something that's realistic maybe if after i keep trying and trying but i don't have the time to keep practicing with vinyl um, right now because I am so, you know, consumed with my silicone babies that I have to paint and stuff. So anyway, but yeah, buyer remorse can really um, get next to you and make you feel like, you know, 
you don't want to um you know, it make you feel like you don't want the, the, the doll and stuff like that. And then you start nitpicking and finding things wrong. And so, and when I go into that, that's another thing that happens in this community a lot of times is, and I just seen a story where this happened um, on Facebook here recently. The, uh, the buyer claimed something happened during shipping and transit and stuff, but when it really when all the story came out and unraveled it seems as if the buyer was really having like buyer's remorse and upset because they had to pay all these additional custom fees and stuff like that so and i guess they were going to make it seem like you know something happened and all this and stuff um the doll didn't get shipped or something uh, or the doll wasn't in the box or something like that because then they get their money back. I don't know. This is all allegedly all this is just the way it worked. But I have seen that happen where for fact that people will come up and make up stuff like, you know, if they don't or sometimes if they don't like the they don't like the doll, like it didn't they the sculpt wasn't what they thought it was going to be or the painting wasn't what they thought it was going to be. Then they'll like start making up stuff. But that's not. What we're talking about here we're talking about buyer's remorse and buyer's remorse usually have zero to do with the doll itself um the product itself is just simply the buyer just feels like they wish they hadn't um bought it for whatever reason regret um because they spent too much or um they've seen another doll that they liked more and now they're stuck with this doll and they can't get another one um, so a lot of that, you know, a lot of that happens, um, with, uh, let's see if I take y'all off the tripod, a lot of that happens more than we, um, think. So I typically, if I have buyer's remorse, and I don't usually have it that often because I try not to um, put myself in situations where I'm going to like instantly regret my purchase. But it happens because this is an emotional hobby and we buy off an of impulse sometime. And then we're, then we, we get upset because now we've, uh, uh oh, sorry trying to turn this little head <laughs> um so we we it happens and we get upset because we've we've spent money that we shouldn't have spent and and then you know all of a sudden you know there's a problem with the doll like oh i don't i don't like it i don't this i don't that I, you know i gotta sell it but yeah this boy is probably gonna stay right here because it's too hard to find AA dolls. And you can't see, like even if I get right up on this baby, let me see, like even if I get right up on him, you can't see the, the fine details as much, but it's beautiful. The transition in his face is gorgeous. Um, so, that's how it all unraveled and I think I've talked about this before but I had to really be honest with myself and say you know what you you're doing a whole lot simply because you out here spending money that you ain't got no business spending <laughs> whose fault is that and then a lot of people they be feeling some type of way when people put their dolls up sale up for sale as soon as they buy them like oh my gosh What's wrong with it? She must be don't like it. It must be don't look good. Is this, is that. And sometimes it has absolutely zero to do with the doll itself. So um, a lot of people, I tell a lot of people, you know, even I think this whole hobby is out of my budget, to be honest. But um, I do better when I save and prepare for stuff versus just jumping into stuff. Um, and I think that's that's the problem 
when you don't prepare for it and you just jump into stuff and then th it throws your your whole um finances off of what you were planning on doing like i was working on you know saving up for this particular doll or that doll and then i go and buy a doll in between and now when that doll come available i can't buy it so now i'm frustrated and stressed yeah it's just too much so anyway um shop smart prepare save budget be strong and uh make sure when you buy a baby that you absolutely without a shadow of doubt feel like you're gonna love it and that still may not help you but at least you got a better chance of not experiencing buyer's remorse because he didn't deserve that now did he <laughs> and by the way i named i kept i'm keeping his name as jersey so we got Jurgis, little little Jersey jerseys. We got Jersey, Nevada, Vegas, Dallas, um, Brooklyn, Paris, and right now I think that's it that I can think of. Mm. Yeah, so we'll we'll have more more to come. And oh yeah, and I'm expecting. So new babies, new babies, new babies, new babies, new babies.